Well, I think these are two big challenges because we're all looking at how do you improve customer experience, but at the same time, how do you maintain costs or, or at least have them not increase too much so that we remain competitive. I think technology can help in many ways. You've got a natural um, uh, operational cost aspect, which is we've got most travel insurance companies still have some pretty um, um, legacy system back office, which are highly administrative, and technology obviously is a way to streamline your process, uh, move towards a greater digitalization of your customer journey, and that can actually help uh, at the same time reduce the costs, but it can also because of being more centered around your customer, help improve the overall experience that they have as they interact with the insurance company by having to do it yourself in terms of loading your claims costs, uh, having a more direct payment based on some parameters that are more uh, triggering reimbursement automatically. So you can really improve the experience while reducing the operational cost. It's interesting because I think the, uh, there are some huge uh, potential disruption in the travel insurance industry. Um, but so far, I would say we've not yet seen great disruption of the traditional players in that space. I think those disruptions are coming from first regulators as they are coming up with more and more regulations right, around data privacy, around uh, healthcare and insurance regulation in general. Um, and then there are some other potential disruption which are more the, the consumers and what consumers are expecting as they now expect from travel insurance uh, a solution which is as elegant, I would say, as what they can expect in the e-commerce uh, uh, market in general of uh, buying something online from any retailer. Um, so I think these are like very heavy trends of disruption potential. Uh, but I would say that no players yet has come up with a dramatically different approach to uh, uh, manage both the, the, the regulatory com compliance issues and constraints and those consumers' behavior changes. But, but we start seeing a new, um, a new uh, product and solution, again, that are addressing those, uh, those new trends. Mm -hmm. But th those answers can actually come from the travel insurance companies themselves mm -hmm. and not necessarily be something that comes from other uh, uh, new entrants in the industry. The biggest disruption has been really the digitalization of the sale. Um, and certainly the players that were the first one to have a robust uh, um, integrated uh, tech uh, um, e-commerce platforms were able to catch the airline industry then the OTA industry but again that's a competitive advantage which is not sustainable in the long run so you can always copy and, and improve on that uh, do I see any players that could uh, come from outside and totally uh, change the model and make the current travel insurance players irrelevant. Um, not really, we actually see an increase. I think the, the, biggest, the biggest danger for, for our industry is people not traveling or not willing to protect themselves. As soon as they travel and they want to protect their investment, then it's all about marketing and technology to be in front of them when they need it. So I don't see, uh, I don't see um, new players coming in, but I certainly see that those players not adopting uh, 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 a robust technology offer and will, being willing to put way more marketing dollars uh, are gonna have, have a problem tomorrow. Well, it's been really fun for me because I'm, uh, I'm based in the US since now for 17 years uh, and I've been in the travel insurance space for, for a long time and, uh, and, um, and then I've moved more to the uh, international health insurance space. And so it's, it's great for me to, uh, one, be back among uh, travel insurance people, great energy, uh, be back in Europe and attending that conference in Berlin is a, a great opportun opportunity to see old friends and, uh, and make new ones, so a great experience. So far, thank you. I think what I'm taking out of the event so far is uh, uh, our industry is a growing industry, uh, and there are a lot of players that are 
pretty excited about the future of our industry and that's why we've got so many people attending uh, because they want to uh, you know share experiences network but also learn a couple of things that they can apply to their business